Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Ethereum because ETFs common to Ethereum that everyone's positioning for they're likely not to cause a bubble we're going to talk about the correlation declines between Bitcoin's ETF and price, and then we're going to look at how much of a Bitcoin ETF fidelity swooping up we're going to talk about Ripple their escrow the war chest, what could we possibly be used for? You're in for a treat of a video, so let's jump into it folks Bitcoin. It's that 1.03%, coming in at $51,037 Ethereum. Right behind it's now 1.69%, coming in at $2,933 US dollars. T has dropped back to 99 cents as USDC remains at 99 cents. And the total cryptocurrency market cap 1 trillion 964 billion XRP. Well, not too much has changed from this morning, was sitting at 54 cents. No exciting, very exciting coin. If you tuned into the live stream that went down at 1 p.m. I thank you if you didn't the live stream is recorded and it is getting uploaded to the YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out, because we will or we did talk about XRP, its outlook, 2024, 2025, where we're going when the engines are going to get ignited. So make sure you check that out that's on my channel if you don't know what I'm talking about bada bing bada boom and went down 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live only my second or third live YouTube show. And I like talking to Keith. He's very grounded. And he's very smart. When it comes to Ta, he speaks the truth. He doesn't have a particular favorite crypto, he's in it for the charts he sells when it's red. He rebuys when he believes the bombs are in the cells that are excuse me, he sells when it's green. He buys when it's red and he just keeps rotating in and out, he has an amazing list of assets him, he has been following your TDN treasure chest, which will unlock to become tokens for TDN is the ticker it's built on the XRP ledger. It is going to be a utility slash payment token for use in the metaverse is and will enable people to bring items from outside the metaverse to our marketplace. And to trade them for token at that point, you can then take the token and go to the exchange and you could cash it in for a stable or XRP, talk about interoperability. That's what are you doing, this is the last day to get your sale. After this. That's it, it's over. You need to wait for the exchange listing. And then you know, whatever the price is, at that point is the price that you will be buying. You should probably get an advance, but you know what not financial advice. I don't control what you do, I don't make your decisions. At the end of the day, you need to do your own research. You need to read the white paper and you need to figure it out uphold. I got this email yesterday from this is fantastic. If you are not a member of our poll, I got a link down below use it and helps me out and helps you out. It's free to use the link folks. They have baskets of crypto now. And I talked to my Uphold rep yesterday to get some clarification on how these baskets actually work. So yeah, a couple of different ones that have to call the big three where if you put 100 bucks into it, what it's going to do, we'll say $120 for simple math, it will take 40 bucks, and I'll put 40,000 to Bitcoin, 40,000 to a theory, and 40,000 to XRP now when you sell you don't have to sell the basket, you can only sell the XRP, you can only sell the Ethereum, you don't need to sell all three at the same time. Which is great to have an infrastructure one which contains Ethereum Emacs Atom. Link and Quant they also have the future of blockchain, which is cost DAG Sol a zero and near, and he got more coming soon. This is an amazing way to diversify your portfolio folks. We need more crypto baskets. I even think we see baskets that are going to be ETFs coming in the near term or Paul. It's an older clip, but it's a goatee, and it's going to set the stage for the rest of the show. He's going to tell you how he feels about Ripple. Kind of mechanism. And I also think this is more contentious, that's the reason by now survived everything as the Chinese government wanted it to. Because that is the linkage between the fiat world and the crypto world. And they own the Chinese state essentially, is a supporter of the largest crypto exchange in the world, because that is a potential bet on the future of the system of money. And at once saying that makes total sense. Where's Binance? Headquartered? There isn't one. Where does O, oh, God was his name? Caesar Dubai. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I can't fathom that. He's actually in China. Very interesting. 
So when you think about, sorry, the US will probably support Coinbase. In the end, what? Because everybody needs control of this situation, if not, the UK will take control of the entire money. The global world of new money, are the. I hope you're right about that, but I don't see a single move on behalf of the US government that would lead me to believe that unless they lose the Coinbase lawsuit, I think they're just gonna we. Have a change in the government. Yeah, true. True. What do you think about 2024, Barry? Interesting statements, day by roll. Listen, he's very smart. They're very smart, folks. If you've never listened to his stuff, I suggest you give it a listen a theory of ETFs they're unlikely to cause a bubble to turn to say, interest in Ether Bedros significantly after the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs in January sparked optimism amongst Ethereum holders. It states that Ethereum spot exchange traded funds may increase institutional investment, any theorems tokens but are unlikely to create major price surges. According to some market observers, while interest in ESA bets have risen significantly, an ETF could create sustained growth rate than explosive growth in the Ether market. They're all gonna have ETFs, all the top cryptos at dinner, they're gonna have ETFs. And it's going to help the growth rates of these assets. Why? Because you're getting new money, and you're giving up institutional money. Institutional money is a lot greater than the public money. When you get a large sum of money that's coming into the markets and it's buying up a particular crypto, what's going to happen to prices going to rise? It's that simple. Unless obviously we're getting over the kind of deals, which who really knows but I don't think that's the case to be honest with you. But we have seen some of these institutional grade partners out there offering people you know, 5% above their their price to buy it from them over the counter. Interesting, isn't it? Bitcoin Ethereum price flow correlation is declining. According to JP Morgan, the correlation reached as high as 0.84 in January based on estimates from JP Morgan, but it has since slowed down the price of Bitcoin has not been moving as closely relations to flow in and out of the spot ETFs as it previously did, when all the basin is off because the ETFs for Bitcoin is so new is that when we saw Bitcoin ETF go live, we obviously saw that price pushed down but what happened, the price quickly recovered. And this is how the hip is going to play out. We will see Bitcoin push higher before to having when having occurs, we will see a retrace in the markets, people will be kicking and screaming thinking that the bull runs over. At that point, when we find a new local bottom, we're going to shoot back up and Bitcoin is going to go above its all-time high. It's that simple. It's been the same song and dance since 2017. When I entered the space folks, everyone thinks it's different this time around, it's not different. We're seeing the exact same things being played out. And if you tuned into the live stream that went down, you would see that the exact same thing is being played out for XRP. That's how this year is gonna go down and it's gonna lead us into 2025. But meanwhile, JP Morgan is putting out their so-called special report on Bitcoins. ETF's Fidelity comes out swinging. Look at is this the Bitcoin ETF that Fidelity is offering look at those numbers. Are you kidding me? Look, you can see that we had a little we had a little bit a little little dip here as of late. But then what happens? They go back out, averages fall out. We're all were bored right around a normal piece here. Right? But people people take data from two days of the worst. And that's all the data that they use. Makes no sense. And Satoshi Nakamoto. Well, he held an enormous amount of XRP according to David Schwartz. Interesting, right? I wonder if he still has his XRP, that's what I want to know. Is that a good thing? We always say it's a bad thing that he owns all his Bitcoin. We don't know who he is and he could pretty much manipulate and crash the markets when he wants. But is this a good thing that he holds? XRP if he still holds it? I don't know. You tell me folks. XRP is price prediction to growth myths that should be the bond. What are we get out here? Crypto analysts Golag Riza sent a $3 price mark is unrealistic for XRP. He noted that the coin having a total supply of homes 100 billion a $30 XRP would imply a $3 trillion market now that's that's 
wrong right here. That's 100% wrong. Oh, yeah. 100 billions, the supply that's not the circulating supply, circulating supply is half of that. A 30 30 dollars XRP would put us at 20 bucks puts us at 1 trillion and 40 will put us at will look at 1 and a half would put at the market evaluation at. He says this figure is not just double a combined crypto market. Another one, folks, this is another one. People need to get this out of their heads. If XRP does run a when it runs to a $20 mark and we have 1 trillion and you believe there's only 2 trillion crypto, no, you're telling me to know other money's entering crypto. That's, that's ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. Gotta put an end to this fun. Listen, when XRP gets 20 bucks and has a $1 trillion market because at some point, it's going to have a $1 trillion market cap. We're probably going to have anywhere from 4 to $10 trillion into total cryptocurrency market cap. So at that point XRP, could have he's trying to say that we can never get to these numbers. Because the total cryptocurrency market cap is sitting at 2 trillion. And because we're sitting at 2 trillion in order for XRP. To get to these numbers. According to his math, we need to have a $3 trillion market cap, that's impossible because there's only $2 trillion to crypto, this guy is taking into into its projections that no new money will ever enter crypto is out of his mind. These people need to stop. Now. In fact, put this out the escrow and we talked about this ripple, could use the escrow as a documented smart contract of IOUs. This could already have been going down behind the scenes, central banks could have signed papers saying, hey ripple. Here's $100 billion. I want X amount of tokens. I want this amount released to me each and every single month from escrow. You give these to me, and that's the IOU smart contract right there. We need to pay attention to the escrow, because a lot of people talked about a pre-allocation theory. It's always in the works, you never know what's going on behind the scenes. We seen some crazy stuff, the crypto I've seen a lot of crazy stuff since 2017. The video ends there. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you soon, bye.